with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. 45th verse said, Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen this thing, had seen these things Jesus did, believed in him. Now go down to verse 53. Then from that day on, they plotted to put him to death. Amen. Now go to chapter 12. And I'm finishing up. The ninth verse. Now a great many of the Jews knew that he was there and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they may also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests plotted to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews ran away and believed in Jesus. Lord of God, for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I read quite a few scriptures from the 11th and the 12th chapter because I want you to follow me and follow our thought for tonight. And we're going to take it from that 11th and 12th chapter. Mm -hmm. We use both chapters for our thought. And from the um, 11th chapter, that 43rd verse. So we're going to use the 44th verse. He who had died came out bound hand and foot with greater clothes, and his face was wrapped with cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose. And let him go. Our topic tonight, family and friends, it's time to take off our grave clothes and live for Jesus. It's time to take off our grave clothes and live for Jesus. How many of you knew, know that we serve a true and a living God? He's not dead. He is alive. So let us pray. Lord, we thank you. You've been good to each and every one of us. You brought us all from a mighty long way. You raised us up. You made us, you know all about us. Yes. Now, Lord, we ask that thou would come with thy quickening power. Yes. Come with thy Holy Spirit. Yes. Come, Lord, as only you know how. Yes. Do more for us than we are able to ask. Somebody in here tonight, Lord, tossed and turned all night last night, all right. wondering yes. how they're going to make it. Somebody in here tonight been talked about men cast on every doorpost. But they know that God is still on the throne. So we thank you tonight for being in our presence. Now stand by us and do more for us than we are able to ask. Bless your preacher man. Take Mark out of himself. Dip Mark into your treasure. Bring Mark out of a new preacher. Not doing my will. But Lord, let your will be done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God has been good to each and every one of us. And tonight, as we celebrate 144 years, I stop by tonight just to let you know that God wants to use 
somebody. You know, there's a difference between existing and living. Anybody can exist. You can exist on life support. Lay in the bed and as long as they got that machine running, you can exist. But in order to live, to live means that you have purpose in life. Purpose to get up in the morning. Purpose to take care of your family. Purpose to come and give God some honor and some breathing. God don't want people just to exist. God wants his people to live. And the only way we can live is we got to get rid of our grave clothes. Preacher, what are you talking about tonight? Well, God was up to something. Jesus came and he saw what was going on with Mary and Martha's brother called Lazarus. I know you probably heard this scripture preached a whole lot of times, but just bear with me tonight as I take you through what my father was up to. Jesus said back then that uh, 11th chapter, I think it's the 24th and the 25th verse, I am the resurrection. I am the life. Huh? Isn't that what he said? Then he asked him, do you believe this? And I want to know tonight, do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? Then if he is the resurrection and the life, then you and I should be alive.
cast up on the sea. Right. That just wasn't the first time All right. that Jesus had brought somebody from the dead. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead, sir. He brought Jairus' daughter. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. She was sick yeah. unto death. Yeah. Jairus went to Jesus. Yes, sir. He said, come on. Yes, sir. My daughter needs you. Yes, sir. Jesus raised her yeah. from the dead. She was just saying, it wasn't long. And then in Luke 7, Jesus stopped a funeral procession. Somebody go to pray. Yes, 
Mm. <laughs> 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 